Right. Um. Today I'm going to teach you like how to use uh this model of the calculator to actually do some calculation on the probability distribution questions, uh, which is the binomial questions. So if you learn about binomial, right? When you see this parameter, this one actually they call parameter. When you see this parameter over here, you should know uh this is n value and this is p value. Because normally, they will if you check your textbook for binomial, they have np, right? So n will be number of trial and p will be the uh, probability of success. So over here, they actually tell you, okay, number of trial will be 30 and then probability of success will be 0 0.28. If you ask, if at the same time, they ask you mean, mood, median, you can do mean is np, uh, and then variance will be npq, uh, and, and then the standard deviation with square root mpq how to get q is quite easy just one minus p all right but this is not what i want to focus here and the focus is what if the question asks you to okay find a uh, value for probability for when x is between 5 and 12 and the 12 here doesn't have equal that's mean they want from 5 up to 11 in this topic right you sh you know you can do manually uh, manually you can using this formula when x equals to r, you have ncr, uh, pr, n, uh, q, n minus r. Yeah, you can you can do this formula, but then <laughs> you're not going to do this formula for this question because you're going to if I do like one by one, you're going to take forever to calculate it because this one is something like okay, x equals to five plus x equals to six plus x equals to seven. And then you need to keep on plus until the last one x equals to 11. Then that means you have to do this formula about about 8 to 9 times. So yeah, I'm going to spend you a lot of time if, if you just key one by one. And in fact, this is a L-level question. It's about just two marks only. So therefore, uh, I'm going to teach you how to use this calculator. To actually solve this one because at level i don't think you can bring in the graphical calculator so yeah but i guess you should be able to bring in the 570 so okay so what i want you to do for this question is like okay you need to understand uh, uh what format to type into here so i give you some sequence here and then maybe you just follow the sequence uh, the first step you will type the menu so you type the menu and then and then second step uh the two here means second step all right so then then you will tap you will tap seven for you should be able to see something called distribution distribution all right then you press equal sign you press the equal signs to enter it then you press equal to enter it all right then you have a list like normal PD, normal CD, inverse normal, binomial PD. But over here, what we are looking for is called binomial CD. I guess the CD stands for the cumulates. So I will press go down. I will just press the this button, the down button here one time to, to go down to look for the binomial CD. And then you basically you need to type one to enter the you will, to enter the binomial CD then you will tap 1 to enter the binomial CD alright so uh, by the way if you ask me uh, why not using the binomial PD uh, the PD you can use when you have something like x equals to 5 you want to find only one I, uh, one of it then you use the PD okay P PD is when the sign is equal so binomial CD is when you want to find the probability of x less or equals to 5. Yeah, this one basically is accumulate from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, isn't it? This one only find one term. This one is find like accumulate from 0 to 5. And then in this calculator CD, they always is less or equal. When you can't, there's, there's no way you change the sign at the middle. So yeah, I'm going to call it A. Okay, so yeah in this calculator he understand the when you whenever you press the when whenever you type the x value into it is automatically is this sign less and equal okay so you need to understand uh how the calculator works and then after you type one 
the fourth step here, you're going to go into the list. So you know, go into the list, you're going to type one again to go into the list. So I'm going to type one. Right then, after you type one already, you should be able to see a, a table. This table is something like this. They give you ask about x, and then the p value he's going to give you, and then here you have one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, so right now, uh, this is a tricky part. Um, so what value you should key in? So because this one is already cumulates, right? So what I want to do is the first one I'm going to key in is the eleven. The second I'm going to key in, uh, the four. Okay, why why I will key in both of these value is. Because in order to get uh, from 5 to 11, what I need to do is, because the, like what I say, the CD automatically is less and equal. So I, I want to find the value x is less and equals to 11 minus x is less and equals to 4. You just imagine, if less or equals to 11, that means start from 11, right? Start 0 plus all the way to 11. So this one actually indicate from 0, 1, uh, it's a plus. Uh. Uh, x is 0 plus x equals to 1 plus x equals to 2 plus all the way to 11. When x is less or equals to 4, actually it's 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. If I use from 0 to 11 minus 0 to 4, so what I get is I will get 5 plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10, plus 11, right? Yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so this is the logic behind it. So after I key in 11, I press equal, type 4, I type equal. Then you need to type one more time equal to actually enter the part there. Ask you, ask you to insert the N and P value. So yeah, so you type, this one you, you need to type equal. And then here you type another equal, and then he will go into here, it's empty one, then you just type equal one more time. And then the n value is given, which is 30, I'm going to type 30. The p value is 0 0.28, I'm going to type 0 0.28. So this is 30, this is 0 0.28. And then after that, I will type equal two times. I will type equal twice. Alright, then the calculator will tell you the probability for 11 is 0 0.8939 and then probability for 4, this is cumulative probability, are not equal to 4, right? This is 0 0.0495. So what I want to do here is, I will just use the value 0 0.8939 minus 0 0.0495. Alright, so after I minus already, I should get the value is 0 0.8444. This one will be my final answer. So this answer actually represents from 5 plus until 11. So yeah, this is how to basically use this calculator to, to do this kind of questions. Yeah, and I do use my graphical calculator to actually check the answer and then the answer is correct. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's all for this video. If you have any comment, you can let me know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, if you have any question, yeah, do PM me. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.